Hi guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Today I'm going to be showing you stuff I bought at Target as well as Marshalls uh, for organizing and baby products and some snacks. So let's go ahead and get started. So a couple things. I think I need to change or I would like to change my YouTube name if I can to Brits Homestead, which is my Instagram handle, which I can link below or whatever. Um, just so my accounts kind of match. Um, I'm gonna try to get more consistent with posting new videos as well as doing stuff on the Instagram page. So go ahead and follow me over there because hopefully I have some big things coming up for this year. Um, and then two requests from you guys. I would like suggestions on one a ring light. Um, I feel like a lot of my videos have really crappy lighting. Um, and I've heard ring lights are absolutely amazing. A lot of people who make YouTube videos have some. So if you have a ring light, um, suggestion for me, I would like to stay maybe around $50. Um, I don't know if that's, I haven't even looked at them, honestly. Um, but if you guys would leave suggestions for those down below. And then what was the other thing? Oh, so my other recommendation that I want from you guys is... If you guys use reusable shopping bags like the grocery totes, um, if you could leave suggestions on where you buy yours. Um, I want ones that are like they have a decent, they last pretty long, you know, like they can withstand your groceries and not fall apart. I've gotten some from the dollar store before just for like light stuff for like going on trips and stuff and they fall apart so fast. Um, but if you guys, if you have any that you like, um, just leave those suggestions below and I will read them over and I appreciate it. And now let's move in to the shopping. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get Target out of the way. Um, I have Emerson's shoes in here. That's where they went, nice. He hates wearing shoes. I only had two things here. One of them is, what is the name of it? Roller shades for in the car. So in his car seat, he doesn't get blinded by some like I've been a terrible mother and I've been doing to him since birth. So I have those things that you suction cup onto the window pull it down so he's got shade in his face. <laughs> and then the other thing, we're trying um, different sippy cups, I guess, and this is the Munchkin Miracle, maybe? So yeah, we're gonna give this a go. Um, I think Josh said that this is what he used with Aniston and had really good luck when she was a baby. Like he has to push his nose in it to get the liquid to come out, so there's no nipple for him to suck on. So we're gonna see how that goes. And now moving on to Marshalls. So there was a ton of organizing products in Marshalls. I don't know if they typically are very stocked on these or if they are just anticipating a lot of people are wanting to organize for the start of the new year. Um, but yeah, like all of the rows in my Marshalls were, were just completely stocked with products to organize your home. So let me show you what I got. So I have this really pretty like light pink color of set of four plastic storage baskets. Oh, that was interesting. Um, these are a pretty decent size. They are pretty deep. Um, like here's the first one. This is how deep down it goes. Um, but I was thinking I could use these in Aniston's dresser. She really struggles with like separating like socks and underwear and bathing suits and just kind of small stuff like that. So it gets just all jumbled up in her drawer. So I figured maybe if we could fold things and like neatly put them in there, like she'll know where her stuff is all the time and she won't be freaking out last minute that she can't find a pair of socks or something. So I figured I could put at least two in her dresser and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the other two, but they're a pretty decent size so I can put them, there's tons of places I can put these. And then this one was compare at $12 and I got it for $7.99 for the set of four. I also picked up this letter sorter. So this is what it looks like. So they also had a Ray Dunn one there, which was I think five or $6 more. And honestly, I like this better. <laughs> This one is beautiful. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to peel this off. Maybe, I'm not sure. Like this little sticker here. I don't know. This was, um, compare it $15 and I got it for $9.99. Um, so we're trying to think of a way to organize more of Josh's business papers. Um, I get a lot of mail and letters while he's at work. 
and so I like to I'm trying to think of a way that we could organize them so he knows he still has to go through them instead of just like leaving them on the table and then it just piles up so I figured maybe one of these could be Josh needs to go through and one of them I don't know I have this so <laughs> there's that moving on to the totally closet storage bin which I'm almost positive I will not use for a closet um, just for more storage this is just showing people organize their socks or small towels in here and this was compare it six dollars I got it for $3.99 just another neat thing I have for storage this one I'm pretty excited about this brand they had quite a few products and sizes of these little bins and they seem pretty good quality and they were cheaper than quite a few other ones that I saw in store so this is called Fino um, the curve and these are the small ones that they have so there is the logo um, so I, is this the curve I don't know so let's see put this in the freezer yeah there's not really much to say about that other than it's a two count and this one was compared $11 I got it for $7.99 um the bins like I'm just gonna use I don't know I have so many things I need to organize maybe the pantry fridge even for this one not sure but fridge for probably this one this is the big one I got um this one is the totally kitchen which I'm pretty sure I just read I don't know um, yeah, totally kitchen. This is a fridge or freezer bin. I know that my fridge or freezer fridge is longer than this, so I'll have to put some stuff back here still. But we have so many like sauce jars and stuff that we don't keep in our fridge drawer. But I figured maybe if we keep them in here, we could pull. I don't know. So, anyways, I thought this one was pretty neat because of this handle here. Um, eight dollars, and I got it for four ninety nine. And then moving on just to some of the very random snacks I found. There was a clearance section of snacks, which I am i don't really shop at Marshalls very often, but I didn't know that this was a thing. This is by Harry and David. Um, these are milk chocolate covered blueberries. So I'm looking forward to trying these. Mouth-watering treats are made in small batches right here at our candy kitchens. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> So I don't know what oh, the compare at price was $7.99 and they were on clearance for $2.99. So I'm looking for more somewhat healthier snacks. I know this is half chocolate and half of a fruit, but trying to make some healthier um, snack options for the family for going into the new year um, instead of just the crap that we currently have, just trying to make just a little bit smarter choices. Excuse me. The last two things I got are from the same company. These were on like the big table walking into the shelf. These were on the big table walking into the snack section, the shelf section. So this is by 180 Smart Snacks or Smart 180 Snacks. I'm not sure. So these are healthy gluten-free snacks. And this is a five count of blueberry nut and seed crunch bars. It says no dairy or peanuts and 150 calories like if I, I heard someone say before if it looks like bird food it's healthy for you so does that not look like bird food so anyway so I have this one and then this is again the same company another bird food looking one five count of the almond cashew nut and seed bars so um these were both $4.99 and compare it compare it $4.99 I got them for $3.99 so I think at Target, I spent $25 on both those items. And then at Marshall's, I spent $45. Um, so that's all I have for shopping and whatnot. Again, if you guys have recommendations on ring lights or reusable bags, I would love um, for, your, for you to put your comments below. And I should hopefully, fingers crossed, be up with a new video somewhat relatively soon. If you have suggestions, as always, leave them below. Um, I'll be happy to read through those as well. And until then, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.